Hey everyone, my name's Root and we are here. This is going to be week six of our PGB All matches. We are here up against Visual Live. This team threatens me quite a bit, but I think we match up decently well. I'm feeling okay about this matchup. Okay, but we have our team locked in and I'm really excited to see what he brings. I'm pretty positive. I know what he wants to bring and it's gonna really be a matter of just matching up well against it. But yes, we see the Haxorus, Lopunny, Zapdos, Decidueye, Primarina, and the Steelix. So I feel like there's definitely something that I... Oh, no Hoopa. No Hoopa at all. So that's super interesting. I, he definitely must have expected me to have the Sceptile and uh, for the Sceptile to have x Scissor on it. And I do have ways of threatening it in general, I suppose. Um, but this is super interesting. Okay, so not having the Hoopa immediately makes the Drapion a lot less valuable in this matchup. It's an Assault Vest to Drapion, again, with the x Scissor, and I kind of want to lead with the Drapion for that reason, because um, I can start knocking stuff off, I can Pursue Trap maybe, um, but it doesn't have Earthquake, so if the Steelix leads, then I'm in a big bit of trouble here. Now, I honestly do feel like it would lead the Steelix, and either way, yeah, I think Celesteela would be the lead here. I don't want to use up Cell Steel of this uh, soon, but um, the fact that I don't have to deal with as much offensive pressure because of no Hoopa, it does open the door a little bit for me to be able to um, use my main my main uh, counters and then try to get a Scarf Healing Wish off with the Gardevoir some at some point in the game. Um, I think Gardevoir has a lot of potential here, being Scarfed. Um, obviously, if the Haxorus gets that Dragon Dance up, it's going to be pretty bad. But uh, yeah, there's the Steelix lead. So Drapion would not have done well in this uh, matchup at all. But we have the Cell Steel here, right? And uh, I will show off the set. Uh, Steelix is going to be a huge pain just in general. And I kind of just want to flamethrower it. I'm going to bring up... I'm gonna bring up here my custom cell steel and just bring up Steelix. I mean, it should do over half. I didn't exactly do a calc on this yet, but it should do over half. I'm gonna just assume max HP. And yeah, Flamethrower is doing safely over half without any type of special defense investment. But I do also just kind of want to get a Leech Seed off. I do also just kind of want to get a Leech Seed off, unless it just rocks and dips. So yeah, I'm just going to click Flamethrower and call it a turn for now. I have to imagine he knows that that was coming, but I also, yeah, that is super specially defensive. I'm going to try to figure out just how specially defensive is that max? Doesn't look Assault Vested to me. It might be. It, no, no, it's Leftovers. So yeah, that's max special defense, and that's possibly sassy? That is definitely possibly sassy. So because of that, I kind of want to set up a Leech Seed. I think he's not going to let this take too much damage in general. But I'm going to set up a Leech Seed for the switch. I don't know what he would want to switch into. The only thing I would be too, too concerned about would be the... Uh, Decidueye on this Leech Seed switch. But if anything, I would expect the Zapdos to come in. I would definitely expect the Zapdos to come in. Um... Which, in all honesty, I don't match up that well against. Uh, this is a fully defensive Cell Steel. But, yeah, there's the Zapdos play. That's fine. That's fine. I hope I land this Leech Seed. I super duper hope I land this Leech Seed. We do. Okay. So where does that leave me right now? I could just try to get some damage off on this Zapdos. With the Flamethrower, but at the same time... I could definitely. I he's got a heat wave right now, right? He's got a heat wave right now, and I suppose this could be the situation where the Drapion could be most useful, being that assault vested switch in to something like a Zapdos, and it will get some health back with that Leech Seed. Uh, Flamethrower is not doing much here anyway. Um, I could protect just a Scout. Yeah, if anything, just getting... No, 
I was gonna say, just getting an extra turn of Leech Seed might be worth it, but realistically not with that Roost there. So I'm just going to go out into, again, my much less useful than uh, anticipated Drapion here. I guess Drapion does still have a decent amount of usefulness against the Decidueye in particular, but uh, I don't know, I don't know. And let me think through what his Z move users were. I know one of them was Hoopa, so that's one. Le I, oh, the other one is Haxorus. So Haxorus, I definitely have to. Uh, oh, the Tailwind. Oh, yikes. Now, if anything, I'm surprised um, he didn't go for the Tailwind play with um, with Hoopa. But he might. What's he trying to pull off with this play? What's he trying to pull off with this play? He might have expected me to autonomize, if, if anything. Um, he could have expected me to be uh, Scarfed Gardevoir, so he wants to protect himself against uh, me being able to outspeed him too, too easily. But at the same time, what is it? What is it that that... Oh, is he trying to sweep me with Primarina right now? He might be. Or he could just try to sweep me with Haxorus, in all honesty. But the Gardevoir in the back will keep him honest for now. I could attempt a Pursuit here, but I don't see that doing a whole heck of a lot. I don't see... Yeah, I feel like the best play is just to try to knock off whatever tries to come in. I should just click knock off. I shouldn't overthink this too, too much. Um, this Zapdos is definitely going to, um, put me on my heels for a lot of this game. I don't know what this Mon is. It is the low punny, so... He definitely knew that I was gonna knock off here. Um, oh my god. No way. No way. Alright. Well, let's at the very least see how much a Poison Jab is doing to a low punny here. Oh, yikes, not nearly enough. And how much... If we assume... We have a lot of HP investment, and we can't get critted because of Battle Armor. So, uh, that's good, I guess. But how much is High Jump Kick doing here? Yeah, High Jump Kick is doing about three quarters, but I'm, uh, decently okay with that, I suppose. I could just switch into Fortress here. Well, no, he's gonna go for the, uh, for the Fake Out. If he does go for the Fake Out, then yeah, Fortress is the play. And here, we're definitely gonna scout out for the Fire Punch, because that's gonna be huge uh, moving forward. Um, it's going to absolutely tell me whether or not I I can uh, more freely move between this fortress. But he, realistically, he would have to have the, the fire punch. It's too valuable. But then again, I do have a lot of rain possibilities, so maybe just would have assumed high jump kick is a lot better in this situation. But at the same time, it could just be drain punching and try to get uh, a whole heck of a lot of HP back. So, we're just gonna have to see, but, um... Yeah, I should probably double here back into Drapion. I guess on the presum presumed high jump kick. There's the high jump kick. And, okay, we take that not as well as I would like. Not nearly as well as I would like. Now, is there a switch that's worth making here? Is there a switch that's worth making here? He still does have Tailwind up, right? For two more turns? One more turn. So that's the last turn, Tailwind. But being... Getting this uh, Rocky Helmet damage off is going to be pretty darn helpful. I think... I honestly don't know how worth it it'll, it'll be to him to hit me again and take this Rocky Helmet damage down to 50%. Um... I might consider switching out if I were him, honestly, but... Uh, that could also be just super silly. 
I'm going to attempt to get a Toxic Spikes. No, that's a bad idea. That's a super bad idea. I have no, like, actual switch into this thing. Um... Yeah, I think I'm just gonna let the Fortress go down. I'm gonna attempt some Toxic Spikes, but, uh, realistically... Realistically, uh, it's not gonna be the best situation. This is the last turn of Tailwind, so, uh, he should be aware that giving... that going for the high jump kick would put him under half, and it would give me the freest of switch-ins into the Sceptile, so he could be, uh, considering a switch here, but he also, I assume, has to be aware of the high jump kick. And the avoid, yikes. Yikes, okay, so that is a bit unfortunate, that is a bit unfortunate, but again, um, if he did, if he did, uh, hit me, then I could have easily gone into Sceptile there, so that is pretty darn unfortunate, but this might be an opportunity here to get a whole switch off, because I have to assume he's gonna try something to, uh, to keep this around for the later game. He needs to pressure a few of my mods, like the Kieran Black in particular, but um, if anything, he might go straight out into the Zapdos here. He might go straight out into the Zapdos here to try to defog maybe. Um, especially thinking that it's free because I have to respect the heat wave, but um, again, I think Volt Switching is the, is the play. I don't see the Steelix coming in at all. I don't see the Steelix coming in at all. So it should be fairly free, unless I'm missing something. But uh, yeah, that's pretty unfortunate. That, that is pretty unfortunate. I guess, assuming he switches out, it doesn't change a whole heck of a lot because, uh, well, I guess we're gonna have to see later on because now at this point, he does go for the high jump kick and this should, in fact, take him out. This does, in fact, take him out. But I still did end up getting my toxic spikes up, so, um, Realistically, I guess we could pretend that my my Sceptile came in and uh, took this thing out and, and, and revenge killed, but, um, yeah, yikes, I don't know, man. I kind of want to go back into my Drapion here, and I already kind of forgot his team a little bit. Um, I feel like Drapion, again, I, um, I don't see Drapion being too, too valuable in this matchup, so... I feel like Drapion could be a good, just like, catch-all switch right here. But yeah, no. Um, that missing high jump kick wasn't the biggest thing in the world, but it wasn't great. It definitely super wasn't great. And, uh, this is a pretty bad matchup for me, in general, here. I can go for a knockoff. We do know that this is specially defensive, so I guess I am kind of curious to see how much this does. Um, oh, I bet, if anything, he expected me to go into the, uh, he expected me to go into the Cell of Steel here. Which would have been a decent, um, switch on my part, but, uh, like I said, I just, uh, I, I, I'm at a point where I really don't quite know what to do with this Drapion right now. And I think, if anything, uh, just its scouting... Uh, just its scouting things out for me is really where I'm going to get the most use out of it. But, I mean, realistically, I could be messing up huge because uh, it would be genuinely pretty helpful against... Uh, against uh, the Primarina, definitely, and the Decidueye. So, let's just see how much this knockoff does. Ah, uh, nowhere near enough. As I avoid the Fire Fang, so, yeah, this is, uh, pretty... ...unfortunate here. And I don't really have any moves to touch this thing. But I do wonder if he's going to... I'm really tempted just to continue to knock off until he switches out. Because I don't think this Steelix threatens me too much. Well, he definitely expects me to go in my cell, Steelix, expecting... Because he, he thought that I would expect him to go for an Earthquake. But I could expect him to go to an Earthquake now. But what is my play? What is my play?
Man, I kind of do want to go into cell ceiling here, but I am super afraid of that burn. I'm going to try just knocking off again. I don't know if he just goes and stays in for the Earthquake, but... I think just whittling this thing down just a little bit more is going to be super helpful because I know that Cure My Beam... Actually, I didn't count that for a especially defensive um, Steelix. Because I was going to say, I know that a Cure My Beam does about 35-ish percent in this situation, but I'm at a point where I can't switch out because uh, realistically my switch is the... is the Cell Steela. Or I guess my switch would be the Kieran Black. Kieran Black can probably take that Fire Fang pretty darn well. And again, um, our plan ultimately is to um, be able to Healing Wish into one of um, whichever Mon is going to help me out better in the late game. So let's give... Um, this is definitely max special defense. Let's give this... Um, this Kieran Black a peep. Ice Beam is still doing 35%. It's still doing 35%. So, uh, as silly as it sounds, getting getting chip damage is going to kind of be worth my, my, um, Drapion in this case. But at this point, at this point, Kieran Black matches up pretty darn well. It can Ice Beam... It can probably take a hit from Hax. Well, no, it's going to Z-move, so I, I have to, uh... Bait the Z-move and force it. Man, that is pathetic damage, but, uh... I feel like this is kind of the game that we have to play, until I get burned, because, of course. Um... So, let's see, actually. I do want to take another look at his team here, and I'm going to put it up here as well. I do want to take another look at his team, so... Def Kiram definitely wins against the Zapdos, the Decidueye. Can potentially win against the Primarina with Fusion Bolt, and... We have to burn Z-Move, but... No, realistically, I can't I can't let my Kiram take on the... Haxorus, but... What can we do to manage the Haxorus? Well, on the obvious play would be Sceptile, so that's a thing to keep in mind. Is there anything else you could do to, keep, to manage the Haxorus? Um... Oh, um... Actually... Yeah. No. No, 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 no. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Okay. What's my play here? I think he might just continue to fire thing. I don't think he wants anybody else to get knocked off, so I think he's gonna give me the Steelix um, on this matchup here. Goes for the Gyro Ball. Now he's expecting me to get kind of like a. Ooh, yikes. Yikes. Okay, that does significantly more now. No, we're just gonna knock off again, man. If he, if he gives me, if he gives me the Steelix, then that opens up a whole lot later game. And it feels dumb to give up my Drapion in this way, but uh, either we knock something off or he gives up a Steelix. Either way, either way, it's going to open up quite a bit late game. It's going to open up quite a bit late game. And if nothing else, it's going to, it's going to open the door up for my, um... Scarfed Gardevoir, no matter what, so that's gonna be fun. That's gonna be fun. Now, I could... I could go into... I could go into... Celestia here and get the freest of, of Beast Boosts you ever did see. I could go into Kiram, which would force in the Haxorus. Haxorus gets a free Dragon Dance as I go into Cell Steela, and then realistically we, we 1v1 it, I guess. We're max defense Cell Steela. Relax nature, but as well. Um, if we go into the set, the, if we go into the Sceptile, then what does he get to switch into? He gets, he goes into the Zapdos. 
He goes into the Zapdos, but... Yeah, he's gonna have the HP Ice. He's gonna 100% have that HP Ice. Um... Yeah, I feel like no matter what I go into, his... Um... He would switch into his Haxorus, and the Haxorus gets a Dragon Dance. Unless I go into the... Unless I go into the... Um... Unless I go into the... Sceptile, in which case he would have to, He would be forced to go into the... He'd be forced to go into the Zapdos, and then he HP Ices me, which would give me the free switch into Kiram, and then... Yeah, I think that's my play. I think that's my play. That has to be my play right now. Oh, and the rocks are here to stay because of the fucking... Yeah, I probably didn't think that through. So, so he did give up the low punny in order for the rocks to be... In order for the rocks to stay the whole match. That's that's the thing that I 100% didn't consider. Either way, I'm, I'm gonna go for the uh, dragon poles here. And this has to force in the Zapdos. This 100% forces in the Zapdos. I think. Unless he can, unless he wants to try and wall this thing with Decidueye, but uh, Decidueye with HP Ice possibly, that would be not great. But again, if he does have the Decidueye with uh, with HP Ice, then I can predict that, and I can go into the Kiram Black and Kiram. Still gets a chance to um, ice beam things, and um, it does at least bring bring us closer to winning in the late game. I also, do have to check out. I I don't have any information on the Zapdos, which is uh, concerning. But um, what I would like to know is theoretically how much my Gardevoir set does to a max HP Zapdos. Wait, what? Why does my Moonblast do so little? It, I mean, I should say that. It does 50%-ish. So yeah, this, this 100% means HP Ice is incoming. But, um... This is the Kiram switch right here. I'm only doing 50% to a max HP Zapdos without... without, um... Special Defense Investment, which is, uh, frightening. That's frightening. I, I mean, at, at least I guess we know the Zapdos isn't, uh, a Soul Vest, but it was, it was never gonna be anyway. Um... But yeah, this is the easiest of Kieran Black clicks for me because uh, he has to HP Ice here, right? Now I don't know if he, if he's watched um, any of my previous matches uh, uh, when I took on Banana and and her Delmise, I did uh, pack the Crunch specifically for this situation. But uh, I guess he's pretty fearless right now. So, there's the Terra Balls. Goes for another Tailwind. So, she's really trying to set up this Haxorus. But Cell Steel. Cell Steel is my best answer to the Haxorus in all honesty. Um, she can outspeed me right now, but I don't know for what reason. I don't know to what end. Either way, I'm gonna click Ice Beam. I don't know if that baits in the Pre Marina, but. We're gonna fusion ball here. Goes for the U-turn. Primarina is coming in. I don't take. Mm, I don't take that incoming moon blast though. Yeah, so that tailwind 100% means that this Primarina is. I mean, it's probably specs. If you're going this hard, then this thing has to be specs, right? Moon Blast. Mm -hmm. 
Moonblast is doing 50% to Gardevoir. But let's check out the... Let's check out the Kyurem. Yeah, it's 100% taking out the Kyurem. So... He could predict the self steal to come in. He could predict the self steal to come in. I could I could bring in the Guard of War. If I bring in the Guard of War, then that will tell me whether or not this thing is specs. And that's gonna be helpful. And again, this is Scarfed Healing Wish, so I don't really mind it as long as I get the information, and I'm kind of hoping that this isn't Specs. But, if it is Specs, um, it might be easier to deal with, I don't know. Yeah, that is 100% Specs. That is 100% Specs. And he outspeeds me. That's that's modest specs, actually. And that actually m ensures that I can't healing wish here because he outspeeds me under Tailwind, and uh, I can't switch back in. But yeah, that is modest specs. So I'm gonna switch into the self steal here. But he probably knows that I can, so... He knows that I know that he specs now. So what does that mean? Honestly, even... even just, um... Causing him to... So, okay. Moral of the story is I have to get rid of this Tissue because um, once his Tailwind goes out, then... Then I know where I am. And he's gonna know how not special- Yikes! That's so much! It's a crit! And I think that crit might super matter. I think that crit might super matter. That's supposed to do like Protect, right? Because, uh, I mean, his tailwind is up, right? So he could be trying to go into Decidueye right now. Spec should do about 50%. I, I super want a flamethrower in it right now. No, he has to expect that I would have something that could deal damage to him, so I feel like he would want to go into the Decidueye right now. If I protect, I'm basically letting him Tailwind. <sighs> of course, of course. Zapdos, so... I forgot about the Zapdos. Um, yeah, realistically, I never really uh, ever won this exchange. 
Yeah, that was a huge misplay on my part. I should have switched into something else. I should have switched into something else. And I forgot about the Zapdos, because I was literally just saying that the, uh... That the only thing that can set up Tailwind again was the Decidueye. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna expect the Tailwind. I'm gonna Leech Seed. I'm gonna try to stall this out, because it's the only Mon that has Protect on it. And, uh, I, th I think I can make some bit of a play that can try uh, that can attempt to steal out this, stall out this tailwind and i think he knows that he threatens me here so i i feel like he would um want to take this turn to try to set up a tailwind he has to right i feel like he has to but this is a bad position for me to be in this is a bad position for me to be in And yeah, this Zapdos is just too difficult for my team to get around. I think he, I feel like he's gonna realize that he has to go for Tailwind here. He could go for the Thunderbolt, but I mean, A, I have the Hiram or Sceptile switch-ins, um... Uh, they're not much at switch-ins at this point, anyway. But, you know what, I'm gonna double Leech Seed here. I'm not gonna Leech Seed Protect. I'm gonna double Leech Seed here. He might, uh, attempt to go back into the Primarina here. Actually, no, this is what would... This is the matchup that he wants. This is the matchup he wants. But at the same time, he can't really Thunderbolt because of my Sceptile. But no, he can because of uh, the Tailwind. I super want to protect again. Uh, for, for no other reason, just to stall out this Tailwind. But he can't. Le he knows he can't let me get back up. He knows he can't let me get my HP back up. He knows that. He super knows that. I'm gonna double lead seed. I feel like his place to go back into Pre Marina. He's gonna take this protect turn to go back into Pre Marina and start going for skulls. He's gonna start going for skulls. And between the toxic spikes and the leech and the turn of leech seed. Uh, two turns of that. He's at like 40%. So I don't know. I'm gonna have to remember um, when the world is happening. But e either way, no matter what, right? Wait, what nature is a cell seal? This this is a relaxed cell seal. So that's pretty bad because now that I'm relaxed, I can't outspeed the free marina with or without tailwind. He's super thinking this over. I mean, he's pretty real if he goes for the uh, Thunderbolt here. But, you know, Celesteel, oh, he, he's he, he really real. Do we take it? We do not take it. We do not take it. This is bad. All right, you know what? This is pretty much the only chance we're getting. This is pretty much the only chance that we're getting. So, okay. This is the last turn of Tailwind, correct? Two turns of Tailwind. Two turns of Tailwind. His switch in would be pre marina. Well, his switch in is not really pre marina. Actually, it probably is. I, I'm gonna go for the roost. I'm gonna go for the roost. He might just double Thunderbolt here, or not, or I guess he would heat wave, but you know what I meant. He might just try to go for the double heat wave here.
I feel like I have to get back out by roosting. So does he take this turn to go into Primarina? I feel like it wouldn't because I have the Gardevoir in the back that I can sack off. But I think we're too far gone. If anything, I, I'm not in a position to deal with Haxorus anymore. Except with Sceptile. And... Kiram has to do too much at this point. Kiram has to, uh... Kiram has to uh, deal with the Zapdos and the and the um, Decidueye. But realistically, yeah, the Primarina is going to get worn down enough. Alright, so here we have Specs Primarina back. Moonblast Super... Oh my god, does, does that take me out? Especially being a naive nature. Yeah, I have to burn the last turn of Tailwind with, um... With his Gardevoir switch in, and then... And then from there, I can bring in the Sceptile, right? Now, I feel like I have to Dragon Pulse directly into this thing. The Sigiwai is super to switch in right now. Let's see, Sceptile, what are we doing here? x Scissor can't take you out. Giga Drain... Probably can't take you out. Well, oh, no, Giga Drain can, but, uh... It's gonna suck against a Zap to switch in. Yeah, this Double Tailwind strat was... Pretty great. It definitely worked out for him, but let's see here. We have to Dragon Pulse directly into this thing. This thing, I mean, he could stand his ground. He could 100% stand his ground. But if he does that, then he's giving me this Primarina. But if he goes out into the Decidueye... If he goes into the Decidueye... Or the Zapdos, then I can two-hit it. And I have to. I'm gonna Dragon Pulse directly into this Primarina. Nope, okay. There we go. That's gonna be it. That's gonna be it for this one. Yeah, he knew he knew that he was relatively safe because even if I did Giga Drain, then the decision I can take a hit as it tail wins, and then this whole thing uh, happens again because Haxorus wins him wins him in the, in the late game wins him the late game. <sighs> he probably doesn't even have to uh, Dragon Dance or anything. If anything, it could be like Bandit or something, but uh, Tail Wind Band, t definite possibility. But, uh... But yeah, at that point he knew that all he had to do was Tailwind again with the Decidueye, and then he... gets outraged twice pretty freely with Haxorus, and, uh, that would be the game. Yeah. Yeah, no. There's nothing I could've really done. I could've Giga Drain just to bring it to a 3-0. But, uh, there's nothing I could've done in that situation. That's a super unfortunate win. Uh, what did I even click? Did I click Roost? Fuck, I forgot about Tailwind not being there. I forgot the Tailwind having expired. 
I could have I could have done it right here. I could have taken this thing out right now, but I didn't. That was just me ab uh, completely absent-mindedly click absent-mindedly clicking. Going for the roost did nothing for me. And yeah, that's just a no-go. That's fine. That's fine. Haxorus beat me anyway, I suppose. Haxorus definitely beat me anyway. Either way, that was a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, maybe could have tightened up the score a little bit, but again, realistically, that Haxorus just beat me. Hope that once again, thank you guys uh, so much for watching, and I'll be once again out.